Howdy, 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 and welcome back to more cooking with me. Today, if anyone decides to join us, we're going to be cooking a turkey egg one skillet dish. So, I'm going to start cooking that. Meanwhile, it's going to go over a nice, delicious bed of rice, which I have pre-cooking over there in my rice cooker. But for now, we're just going to get going on the turkey. And the first step is taking all the turkey out, browning it, and then strangely enough, I always find this recipe strange, because you you actually use salsa. It's a it's turkey salsa and eggs. Hold on one sec. Yeah, so we brown the turkey, and then after that's been browned, we pour in about a cup to a cup and a half of salsa, cook that for about two minutes, and then add in our eggs and cover it. It's really delicious. I've made this, I think, two other times. Really quick, really delicious. You can easily find this on Google as well. Just type in turkey egg one pot skillet. Uh, I definitely gotta eat this tonight. This will be my meals for the whole night pretty much because yesterday I indulged in some delicious pizza and garlic cheesy breadsticks so now it's back on the health train or at least eating well which isn't hard when you've got all these awesome recipes Jesus get out of here fan slaw poking at it I'm trying to break it up I don't know, I'm real OCD about how my meats cook, like breaking beef and turkey apart, making sure chicken all has a nice, um, a good amount of the pan to make sure it cooks thoroughly. I'm a strange one. Yeah. What are you cooking today, huh? Anything interesting? You got that grill up and running? <clears throat> That's my cat. She's grumpy. Every time I step foot in the kitchen. Hell yeah, I'll wait. Hopefully that day shift grind went smooth today. But yeah, so we're using uh, some delicious salsa, Pace restaurant style salsa. I'm not fancy making my own, can't do that. I'm sure I could choose not to. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. That's our salsa, about a cup and a half. Paste is a bit, oh, the approval, yes. I knew, I didn't know, I just chose one at random, it looked good, so. I didn't even look at price, because who cares about price when it comes to food. And then, I just got my regular, regular turkey from the commissary. Delicious ground trip ground turkey. I almost said turkey. Oh, snap. That would be disgusting. Hello, Ashley. This day she drinking beer. Oh, god damn it. You guys drank that 30, 30, what was it? 36, 34 pack? Oh, well. I slept. I got some much needed rest.
Hush. Hush. And while we're waiting for this to brown, I'll show you my cat. She's just chilling on the window. What's up, kitty cat? Say hi. Yeah, we got our rice over here. About half a cup of rice cooking in that. Turkey, still raw, browning, going to be delicious. We got our six eggs. Salsa, awesome Star Wars salt and pepper shakers, hell yeah. And like I already said, our Pace restaurant style salsa. And then uh, basically it's all just going to combine together. We're going to brown this guy here. Once this is brown, we'll pour in the salsa, cook that up together for a little while, add in the eggs. Oh, hi Amber, hi Kyle, welcome to the stream. Oh, and that is a Brian Disarath. Welcome, welcome. We are cooking some delicious turkey health dish today. It's a, a turkey and egg one skillet dish. So I was just going over the ingredients a little bit real fast. It's obviously turkey. Uh, salsa, strangely enough, I don't know. It, it tastes good though, so I'm okay with it. And then six eggs, salt and pepper. And I'm gonna I'm gonna eat that over a bit of rice. So it's gonna be good. I got my rice cooking over there in my rice cooker. <laughs> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. You had just gotten into the, into the the work area too, so you didn't really. I think you, I think that was right when you came in, so you didn't really know any of us. I just bring my cat on into work, whatever, you know, no big deal. Cats in a crate, wildfires in California are raging, and then here comes uh, Eric Fanslaw getting ready to fly out, and uh, he walks into the office, and there's just this cat sitting in a crate meowing. Had water, had food. She just likes attention and does not like cages, obviously. Oh yes, the one pot meals are delicious. Oh, my brother Nick Sanford is in the in the video. Welcome. Yeah, they're always wonderful because they're quick. So for those people that are quick and on the go, I think the longest longest part of this is just browning the turkey. And I do that extra slow because the all clad pan that I have requires lower heat. So you could really, if you have a, a maybe a nonstick pan, you could really just crank that heat up and get this turkey cooking real fast. But I do not because then it burns and sticks to the bottom of this pan. Oh yeah, I always wait. Okay, it's a girl. World, you keep me on. Hey, don't encourage this. She meows enough, it drives me nuts. <clears throat> yeah, we got our Turkey Brown. What are you up to, bro? Trying to get me. Yeah, she tries and fails. She's over here. Enjoying the view out the window. I don't know what view she's trying to see, but, you know, she's a kitty. She enjoys it. We got our rice cooking over here. It's going pretty good. We got our turkey. Almost done browning. Once I brown it, get that salsa in here and cook it a little bit. Cover and wait, pretty much. Nice, quick, healthy recipe. All of our, all of our stuff over here. Uh, switch back. Here we go. <laughs> he hasn't seen cats yet, Frankie. <clears throat> yeah. Let me guess, you're, you're uh, on the front porch enjoying that wonderful Ohio weather and I'm going to say either a cigar or a, a glass of scotch in your hand. Which one is it? My cat's name is Yubi. Like, uh, uh, uh super nerd here. <clears throat> Her name is short for Ubisoft. <laughs> she likes it. Mm. Yeah, honestly, not much to talk about this recipe. 
like I keep saying, real short, real simple. Uh, you can always add things to it. I'm sure uh, maybe adding some different garnishes would be good. Garlic. Garlic's always good, as my brother well knows. Neither. Oh, wine at the winery. All right. Yeah, you know, you always got those Snapchats going, and you got some some nice-looking scotch in, in your hands, or a, a big old big old stogie. <clears throat> Maybe one day I'll get out there, get out back to old Ohio, and be able to enjoy some of that with you. But not right now. Unhealthy style. <laughs> I'm not much of a uh, a griller, but uh, I'll definitely cook something. I got I I can whip up a mean uh, uh, beer cheese dip. Mmm, delicious. What we got here? She needs. I just gave her wet food. She doesn't need more. Gotta have garlic. Yeah, <clears throat> I didn't add it in this one just because I was gonna do the base recipe. In case anyone did want to pick this up again, like I said, you just you take some you take a pound of turkey or edit alter it for you know however much you want you brown it once it's brown you add in a cup to a cup and a half of any kind of salsa you would like i've got this kind right here i need to get a light underneath here mild pace restaurant style salsa you cook that for 2 to 3 minutes add in 6 eggs salt and pepper cover it and then you cook it for about seven to nine minutes depending on how you want your yolks uh, right around nine minutes the yolks will be nice and hard and anything under that like around seven eight it'll be a little runny <clears throat> and I'll throw that over some rice well oh, Morgan how's it going people pop it in here Sean Bra Braden how's it going welcome welcome more oh what do we got I'm missing stuff nope here we go Mmm, beer cheese is approved. Okay, I'll get that beer cheese going. It's delicious. I make way too much of it. But can you ever really have too much beer cheese? Alright, looks like that's all nice and brown. Let's go ahead and add in our cup and a half of salsa. Mix that on up. Cook it for, like I keep saying, two to three minutes. feel like I'm a broken record. Just on repeat. Oh, you know what? Hmm. I missed. I missed a step. I missed a step. I forgot to drain it. After you brown it, you're supposed to drain it. So now I'm gonna have to do some some magic on this dish and get some of this liquid out. Maybe I'll just cook it a little extra long. More? No, no more. No. Not on an Air Force base. Yeah, fair. Now, oh, there's always something to drain. There's a little bit. Not too much, you're right. But when you add in, you know, a nice salsa, it adds in extra, extra water. So getting rid of even just that little bit would be helpful. If I had a, a stand or anything fancy for these little live streams I'd be able to pick this guy up and actually show you but you can't quite see the liquid in there pooling at the bottom unless I dump it on the counter which I'm not gonna do not even for your amusement That's literally what I tell them all the time. Uh. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? I might as well add in that salt and pepper now. doesn't make much sense to add it in. I can add a little bit in now. And then a little bit in the top on on top of the eggs. 
Don't worry, it looks like I'm putting a lot in, but I'm really not. Sh my salt shaker and pepper shaker come out real slow. And that's the rice being done. Just heard that little tink. Little ta ting the spring going. Yes, I make noises. I'm a weird cat, as most of you will know. Now, Nick can probably tell me who I get that saying from, because I didn't even realize I just said that. Uh, who do you think? Something to talk about through a while. Doug. Yeah, I mean, if you guys, you guys bring something up, I'll talk about that. But other than that, I'll just go around showing needless stuff. At least I'm not being awkward and quiet like I was in my one video. Here's the rice. That's all done. I can go ahead and add the butter to that. We might as well pop on over here. This is how I'm going to prop my phone up with my Death Star cookie jar. Yeah. Fancy. Talk about that, I just burnt myself. <clears throat> Ooh. Hot tamales. You know, hopefully, one of these days in the near future, I'll be transferring over to uh, YouTube. And I hope all you guys decide to come visit me over there because this is quite fun. I still plan on keeping up on doing these uh, these cooking videos. They're fun. I enjoy them. And uh, I also am going to do some video game stuff. So if you're interested in that, it's just going to be chill, have some fun, make some videos. Keep talking. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a kitty down there in the corner. You can barely see her. Nice go in there, Grace. Grace, Grace who? What you talking about? Oh, is that the fridge? It is the fridge. Snap. The Bob Ross of cooking. Oh my gosh. Well, for that, I need to like make a paint uh, a painting on my counter with all the food. And I'll tell you what, I'm not doing that. I do not like messes. And I do not like cleaning them up. I'm a very careful cooker. Most of the time. Heck, Nick, I might actually have to uh, try and show you up on one of these videos. Maybe I'll go buy some, uh, some farm fresh tomatoes and do a video on canning that I've never done before. Do that real Italian show, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Hey Nelson, what's going on? The t-shirt, what? Uh, interested in buying this shirt. Ha! <laughs> yeah, this shirt's awesome. This shirt's dope. Let's see if I can get it in here. We got all the cool Star Wars animals here going on. This one right here, the Porg. Yeah, you know who you are. Call Ashley my little Porg. It's cute. She doesn't like it. Whoa. Involves inebriation. Yep, that's fair, you know. I could I could always do that. But, you know, then I get silly. And, uh, I don't know about that nonsense. Although I do... I do have some really good whiskey here. I'm missing people. Anymore, I got it for them for Christmas. Oh, uh, they don't have it anymore. That's no bueno. Hey, I'm glad, you know, I took what she said and was like, all right, fair enough. If I'm going to make some videos and people are going to give me free advice without charging me a dime, I might as well use it and try and make my videos better. It's a little, a little weird, a little hard. Oh, my Graham Rose is here. Welcome, welcome. I'm on the next flight. <laughs> Hold on, I'll show it. Got some good, good old Japanese whiskey. And we'll bring it back here a little bit. Actually, we'll just bring the phone out. It's dark underneath there. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll have a little glass here with you guys. I'll tell you how it is. I like it. Last time I had it. <clears throat> Hold on one second. 
I'll do the fancy glass. Ooh, that, that's a whiskey drinking glass right there if I ever done did see one. Graham's on the 40th cup of coffee. You're damn right. I don't know, cooking by... Wait, wait, what? I missed that. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. You know, maybe one day. Not today, though. No, I don't... Uh, this isn't an OnlyFans. <laughs> You know what I do need with this, though? I need some ice. I don't know if I have ice, though, because, you know, I'm a poor man. I feel like I'm missing stuff. Skip. Have a sip. I do. <laughs> oh, ice, 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 baby. Oh, we do have some ice. Beautiful. Nothing fancy. Got my little blue plastic thing, you know? My brother's much fancier than me. He's probably got some, some fancy ice. I don't know. I'm losing my mind right now. I agree. No, I don't. I don't think you do. This is just getting waterier. More water. Ice with that. What are you doing? I'm adding a little bit of ice to my whiskey. That was like the show. What are you making? Oh yes, I am so sorry. I am making a uh, turkey and egg one skillet dish, healthy. So we've got a pound of turkey, and then we brown that. Once it's browned, you're supposed to drain it. I forgot. I'm a, a dingus. Straight up. Oh, I don't know about that. Um, so after that, we add in, this, this bit's strange, but we add in a cup of salsa. I got Pace restaurant style salsa, I've been told. It is the best. Um, and then you cook that for two to three minutes, but since I didn't drain it, I'm cooking it a little, bit, a little bit longer. Then we add in six eggs, cover it, and let it cook for seven to nine minutes, depending on how you want your eggs. Nine minutes being completely cooked all the way through, no runny, and seven minutes being quite a bit runny. And then I'm going to eat that over a bit of rice. All right, here we go. Mmm. Got a little bit of that up my nose, but that's... I like it. It was good. I have this awesome um, subscription to Flavier. And it's a, a whiskey club of, of sorts. So every quarter, I get a free bottle of my choosing and a sampler pack, a, a three-piece three, three piece sampler pack from different countries or different areas in the U.S. Hey, what? Two a day, Nick. Oh, two a day, yeah, right. Um, yeah, so I've been, oh, wait, what do we do? I, me I messed something up. There we go. Don't start talking my clothes off. Oh, God. color flower rice. I could use color flower rice. However, I did not. Uh, oh, but yeah. So, so I get it a little sampler every quarter. Different whiskeys or rums. Ignore that. Sorry about that loud noise. If you guys heard that. Hey, you know, I get people telling me I don't talk enough, and now don't talk too much, so I'm gonna find my groove. I'm gonna have to try that. Yeah, you will. Put your phone in silent. My bad. I'm sorry. Hold on. I didn't think that would actually come through. Boom. Alright, my bad. Sorry, everybody. Alright, so this is what the uh, the dish is looking like now. You know, that was perfect timing, because I just got a, uh, a voicemail, and that would have tore your guys' ears up. So now we're going to add in the eggs. Level everything out. This way I get eggs where I want them. Oh, Mrs. D is in the house. Welcome, welcome. I 
he has it. Uh, hold on, sorry, sorry. Going back through, I missed some stuff. Sloppy Joe's Snow. No, no, it's just a, a lovely turkey and egg deal. Turkey and egg dish. So once it's over, you just slop it over anything you want to slop it over, honestly. I'm going to put it over rice, personally. I like rice. But, you know, you could put it over quinoa, or you could put it over... Uh, I mean, I guess you could make a sandwich, so I guess this could be a kind of sloppy joe. But I definitely like my rice. I've always been a fan of rice. You can ask Mrs. D that. She's had to cook me so much rice over the years. Rice aroni is delicious. You could even go for that if you want. Sloppy Joe stands for breakfast creation. <laughs> you know, I would love to take credit for this, but alas, I cannot. I found this on the Pinterest. But, you know, I do add my own little flair to it. Ooh. Most times, not this time, though. This time was just a straight-up normal recipe for anyone who felt like they wanted to try their hand at cooking this. Alright, I'm going to wash my hands. I'll show you what we got, and then we'll cover her up. Always gotta keep your hands clean. Alright, I'm missing stuff. It's a thing of beauty. Yes, yes it is. Someday I aspire to crack an egg one-handed someday. Oh, my goodness. You know, I would try and I would probably collapse from the effort. Clean this up. Alright, here we go. So this is what we got before I cover her up. delicious. That one egg's a little off, but you know, it'll be alright. So we'll take this. We'll go ahead and salt her up just a little bit more. And yes, this is a stormtrooper. I would love to point that out. And this is Vader. Whoop, that's a little bit of pepper. That's going to be a spicy egg. And then for about eight minutes. You get to look at my lovely mug. I'm gonna turn that down just a hair. Start cleaning up because, you know, I'm a clean freak. Hey look, we're done cleaning up. <laughs> oh, you know, that would be dope. That would be just the coolest thing in the world. I want everything Star Wars themed. I mean, Let's take a look at this right over here. We got Star Wars everywhere, man. I got this guy right here. Lovely. And as everyone already saw, I got my Death Star cookie jar. Yep. It's the thing of beauty. That's all I got in my, my kitchen. Oh, you little dirty rat. She got up on the fridge. You know, if I really wanted to get fun, hold on, I'll be right back. I don't know where it is. Oh. That's to find it. Oh yeah, she's up on the counter, Graham. Hold on, I'll be right back. Plastic bags. 
Well, I can't find it. My bad. I'll watch the stove. Thanks. It was cooking real, real well. No, I used to have... I used to have this awesome apron. I got it for Christmas. The Star Wars Princess Leia. <laughs> but I don't know where that went. That's alright, though. I got some uh, Star Wars measuring cups. That's right. <laughs> oh. Yeah, can't find it. Oh well. We'll just take a drink instead. Hmm. Yeah. I know. Can't stop talking. Well, it's been about three minutes, so we're almost there. And then we'll get to see the final product of this. I'm hoping to get them just a little bit runny. And then I got to find Tupperware and stash it away for the rest of the weekend. You know, I really should have done this Sunday. And I would have been set for most of the week for my lunches, but I guess I'll just have to figure out another dish to do. I got some ground beef in the freezer still, so that can do. That'll work. So what are you all doing tonight? What did you all eat? Anything delicious? Grab an old butter container. Like the old days? <laughs> butter container? I don't have that big a butter container though, man. Like, what am I gonna fit in this? Not a thing. No, I got, I got plenty of Tupperware. I got these fancy doodads right up here. That'll fit one whole meal for me. Be nice. Pizza, ooh, going to bed, had pizza, it's Friday, fair enough, me is driving, oh boy, so what kind of pizza, we got, we got two pizzas in, in the house right now, oh, oh, you know, I'd cook, I'd cook for anybody who wanted to come over, pizza, man, that's three pizzas in the house, what the hell's going on, ah, oh, sorry, excuse my language, no, uh, so what kind of pizza, we got pep, uh, Nick, mmm, mmm, pepperoni black olive, if not, I'll be disappointed, Graham pepperoni black olive, or I'll be disappointed, uh, what about you guys, Amber, what kind of pizza, pepperoni black olive, or I'll be disappointed, Oh, mm, okay. Yeah, that that sounds delicious. It's everybody's thing. Pepper, pepperoni, and sauce. Wow. Oh, okay, that's two. Well, uh, the only thing you're missing is onion. It's Friday night, kids. Limit us, so we have half cheese, half pepperoni. That's fair. You gotta get those kiddos hooked on black black olives. That's my favorite kind of pizza right there. But I do like Cos Costco pizza. All right. Yeah, no, um, I do like throwing, throwing mushrooms on there too. Mushrooms are delicious. I, I, my, uh, my tastes have changed since I was a child. It used to always be pepperoni black olive. Nick, Nick can, uh, attest to this. Mm, a little bit longer. <laughs> Costco pizza is legit. Yeah, it is. Man, everyone had pizza. Ashley, what are, what are you and Mia going to get? thought you were in for the night, but your burrito got ripped apart. Kitty agrees. Here, let's take a look at Kitty again. This is her little perch. Yeah, that's a kitty, alright. Stop being loud. <clears throat> it's only when I'm in the kitchen. Hey, Colton. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Coming into a lovely cooking show with me. We're cooking a uh, a turkey egg 
one pot or one one skillet McDonald's oh no but it's Friday so we got uh real quick I'll run it down for you we got one pound of turkey um a half a cup of salsa six eggs and then you cover it and then I'm gonna I'm gonna dish that over some lovely rice. You know, it's been it's been about eight minutes. We can go ahead and turn the stove off and let it cook on its own heat. I'm also drinking some delicious whiskey, Japanese style. I'll be there one day, I swear. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, let's get a plate and start plating this up so you guys can see. Oh, Kayla's in the chat. How's it going, Kayla? Kids are getting cheeseburgers. Mmm. Alright, I'm still on that that health kick. Also, we're gonna measure out my rice. Oh, don't fall. We got you. Yeah, man. So, yeah, that's my cat's nickname for Ashley. Spread the rice out. Get it all on the plate, not on the counter skip. Oh, Italian vegetable soup. I'd be dope. I'd be down for that. That'd be awesome. Well, hey, thanks for joining. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, come back tomorrow or later and check out the final product. So I'm getting ready to plate her up. You have a wonderful night. All right. And now, ooh. Hold on one sec. All right. So this is what we got. Looking good, looking live, looking tasty. So hopefully, if I measured out my time right, these eggs will be just a little bit runny. And we'll go ahead and plate up an egg and cut it, and then that'll be me signing off, because I'm going to go eat with my whiskey. Mm-mm-mm. This is always the best part. Alright, I'll we'll just keep her right here. Get myself a fork. Not a spoon. A fork. Uh, no, we'll go with a spoon. Cause I'm a heretic, and we're going to eat this with a spoon. It just feels more comfortable, you know? Don't say anything, Ashley. She likes to eat everything with forks. Alright, so here's our final dish here. Over a nice, delicious bed of butter, salt, pepper, rice. And then the egg, the crucial part. Hey, you know what? I cooked it too long. Too long for what I was going for. But it still looks... Just delicious. Mm-mm. -mm. Look at that. That's that's picture worthy right there, I think. No, oh, I'm not talking bad about you. Yeah, that, that right there, I think that is picture worthy, so maybe I'll come back by later and crop out the photo. And that's what we have left. Basically a serving an egg. So I'll have this I'll be eating this for a while. Mmm. Eggs with rice are the best. Eggs, honestly, rice in general. Rice in general is the best. I don't know what's going on with this lighting. I look like, I don't know. 
Well, there we go. All right, so, yeah, that was what I decided to cook. I hope you guys like it, and if you decide making it, why don't you let me know how it turns out, or if you have any interesting ideas for, you know, changes to the recipe. I'll try anything. I love cooking. It's a lot more fun with, uh, with people watching, just interact with them. And I take a long time cooking. I don't know why. If a recipe says it takes, you know, 20 minutes to cook, I'm usually taking like 40. I just like to prep everything first. But yeah, so thank you for showing up. Thank you for watching. And everyone have a wonderful night.